All right. Hello, this is your music lesson for the week if you're in third, fourth, or fifth grade. And we're gonna be doing some percussion. Uh, so you can do this lesson by yourself, or if you have a sibling you're at home with who's also in third, fourth, or fifth grade, you should get them and you can just do your lesson together. And it will be fun to have a buddy. So first we're gonna review, then we're gonna practice, and then we're gonna uh, do some improvisation. And we'll talk a little bit about what that means later. Um, so let's review, because we haven't done percussion in a few weeks, okay? So a percussion instrument is any instrument that you play by hitting, shaking, or scraping, okay? So you guys probably remember this drum. I was actually able to bring it home from school. Am I hitting it, shaking it, or scraping it? I'm hitting it, right? Now, you're gonna need a percussion instrument for this lesson. If you don't have a drum, there are so many things around your house you can use. Example, this is just like a pot I cook soup in. It sounds great. Bucket. There you go. So let's look at another instrument, okay? So I have a maraca. Do you play it by hitting it, shaking it, or scraping it? You probably said shaking. You could also say hitting it, because when I was playing it, I was hitting it on my hand, so I was doing a combination of both. Now, if you don't have a maraca, it is so easy to make a shaker. You just take a container, like an empty bottle. You could put rice in it. You could put dried beans in it. Um, here's something I found. I didn't even open this, or I didn't even make this. Um, I just went into my pantry. I found rice aroni, and here you go. Sounds great. Okay, last... Am I hitting it, shaking it, or scraping it? So if you said scraping, you're right. Now I don't have an actual, you know, professionally made scraper. So this is something I made myself. If you take the label off of any can, whether it's a can of soup or a can of beans or something, it's probably gonna have ridges. And then I'm just using a spoon for my stick, so. Okay, so step one, you need to get yourself a percussion instrument. So pause this video and come back with something to play, anything. I'll see you soon. Okay, welcome back. So I, of all this stuff I have, I've actually decided to use the bucket because I like the bucket. Um, we're going to review some things that we learned. So we learned how to read three types of musical notation. Um, the first one was the quarter note. Okay, so um, the way we learn to count it in our heads is we say ta every time we see this. A quarter note gets one beat, right? So ta, ta, ta. Okay. We also learned two eighth notes. Two eighth notes also gets one beat. Okay, a lot of people look at this and they're like, well, it's two notes, so it must get two beats. Each of these gets one half of a beat. So together they get one beat. It's faster because they're, it, it goes twice as fast. So here we go. The way we learned to count this in our heads was we say TT. TT, 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 TT. So. Play along with me, and I want to make sure you guys remember the difference. Ta, 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 ti, 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 ta, 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 ti, 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 ti. Okay. The next one that we learned is this. This is a quarter rest. This is one beat of silence. Okay, so. You're not making any sound, but you still need to count it in your head, okay? Um, here we go. So we're gonna review some patterns that we learned, okay? So let me pull this into the frame here. We have line one. 
Line one should be pretty easy. Um, just ta, 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 ta. This symbol at the end, the two lines with two dots, that's called a repeat sign. Anytime you see that in music, it means go back to the beginning and do it again. Okay, so we're going to play this together, and we're actually going to play it four times. Okay, play with me. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have ta, ta, ti, ti, ta. Okay, so quarter, quarter, two eighths, quarter. We're gonna do that pattern four times. Do it with me, please. All right, and by the way, I'm alternating hands. You can just as well play. Whatever is comfortable for you. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have a uh, quarter note, ta. Okay, you gotta count three beats of silence. Let's try it, we're gonna do that pattern four times. Here we go. Okay, pattern four, we're really mixing it up. Ta, ti, ti, ta. Okay, ta, ti, ti, ta. Okay, think about it. I just want you to think about it before you play it. Okay, we're going to go for it. Here we go. One, two, ready, start. Okay, so now we're gonna do this together. Um, we're gonna do line one four times without stopping. We're gonna do line two four times without stopping. We're gonna do line three four times. And then we're gonna do line four four times, okay? So we're doing this whole thing without taking any breaks. Okay, so here we go. Get ready to do line two. Get ready to do line three. Get ready to do line four. Awesome. So um, if you if you had trouble doing that, you can just rewind the video back and do it again. You can also pause the video and try it on your own. Okay. Now we're going to move on to doing some improvisation. So what improvisation means is you make it up on your own. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a, a pattern over and over. And you're going to kind of jam with me, you know, on your instrument, you can play whatever you want over what I'm playing. Okay, so I'm going to be playing the same thing over and over. And you can make up whatever you want on top of what I'm playing. Okay, so this is going to be my pattern. And whenever you feel comfortable, just come in with me. Okay. Um, now, if you're doing this with a partner, one partner should play with me and one the other person should improvise and then you can switch okay so this is what i'm playing i'm just playing ta ta okay play whatever you want I'm going to do it two more times. 
All right. I hope you had some fun improvising. If you have a partner with you, you can switch now. Have one person play the pattern over and over and have the other person improvise. And I hope you had fun. Um, you know, this is something you could do with your friends, with your family, and you don't need to own, you know, fancy instruments. You could have a percussion circle with just things that are laying around your house. Um, so everyone, have a great week, and I will... Uh, have a new video for you next week. Bye.